So how it works, as I said in the beginning, the steering has to be initially rotated by the driver. There will be a steering, steering torque sensor, uh, there will be a sensor. It will measure the torque. And the very uh, simple logic is every rotational movement should have the torque. The force has to be measured in the unit of torque. That's why we can see vehicle torque or the vehicle specification they mention like uh, torque in uh, torque and uh, power that the different classification so rotational movements there should be we can measure some there should sorry all the rotational movement we can measure in terms of torque so if you driver rotates the steering that sensor will uh, detect there is a amount of torque has to be applied on the steering this data then later transfer to the electronic control unit as i said uh, that's the brain of the system with the uh, protocols maybe with the wire or whatever it is and the code which is already available in the electronic control unit will calculate this much amount of torque as given as an input and it also calculate how much amount of vehicle is traveling in the terms of speed and other related functions like uh, where vehicle is traveling in the forward direction and whatever and the other related inputs as per the system and it will request the motor to generate this amount of uh, torque. Then this amount of torque will be converted to the corresponding uh, current and this current is given to the motor, then motor will generate the torque. So the main idea is, if the speed is increasing in your vehicle, the amount of torque generated by the motor is less. If the speed is decreasing, the amount of torque generated by the motor is much higher than nothing but it's like a because of friction because the vehicle is in standstill or rotating very slow you need much amount of uh, energy to rotate the tire if the vehicle is moving fast and the friction to the ground is very less so you need very less amount of energy to steer the tires and it will steer the vehicles <laughs> to better understanding i have uh, inserted some clip over here hope it will uh, play just a second and it will take us to some link because I'm trying to import this videos and fix it but it's uh, not working as I said one of the supplier is uh, next year it's their direct website from there we can see it's not a big deal they given all the access to us so I'm trying to play this videos hopefully you can you all see this or else you can copy this link and you can use it and this the operations you can see in steering we can make it tilt of all the cars you have noticed this this lever and you can adjust your uh, see this is the one driver is rotating this and the motor is fixed over here with the help of the, all the steering and the other related stuff they will still expand here this is an ecu and you can see this is an electronic control unit and this is the motor and with mechanical connections and it's trying to rotate with other mechanical gears So it means uh, whenever the driver is rotating, trying to his hand torque and it will uh, do this function which is decided. The torque sensor may be located here somewhere else. Thank you. So once comes, as we as I told in the previous uh, slides, the electronic power steering contains as you be already aware of like software and hardware. No. So as it comes to the software and hardware, no. we have definitely some some roles to do this task. Here are something like that. You can start as a software developer. We should have the knowledge is like some bit amount of embedded C codings and MATLAB and senior software. So once you have some amount of system knowledge is like functions inside the electronic power steering you are well known which function is providing which output and how you need to map to the other function then you can develop the as a senior software developer once you are very familiar with the, all the functions inside the electronic power steering and you will move into the software architect and mean you can design some complete entire software unit from the base software communication and application software and how you can merge it and how we can make optimize more to that hardware you can design the as a schematic designer or uh, how you wiring diagram designer so that how the which are all the electronics component is needed as i said dark sensor is that i cannot connect the dark sensor with just like an adc and i cannot use it anymore and uh, we need some filtrations over the signals and we have to do some rectifications other 
other uh, boosters or other latest stuff. I'm using this motor driver in that thing, and you have to take care of this motor driver and current how much it is driving. You need to take care of the backup circuits. Like uh, once it's sorted to the ground, it should not affect entire vehicle uh, wiring, and you, it has to take care safely. And other related uh, reverse path production, everything is over there. The same roles like uh, hardware developer, maybe hardware designer, whatever it is, and senior, and then hardware architect. The third one is a very crucial role called as a um, system architect. The system is uh, he won't involve much on the software coding or the hardware designing or whatever it is, and he will only take care about the system. That means how the system needs to work, and uh, he the system uh, he will think in the way of uh, don't care anything about the topics inside like code or whatever, and he will think only about the thing of a driver and if the driver is doing something and what car needs to do, what car what car should do and what car should into do. It's like a system architect and he has to take care of the complete system with respect to, without respect to the software, hardware or mechanical or whatever it is, he's a complete guy. And he is the most crucial role all the organizations, a system architect role. They should always depend, all the software guys or hardware guys should depend on him and uh, for to do this, we have to do uh, much amount of experience over the entire power steering. As it comes like to the software development, Obviously, we have this testing part with respect to the V model development or whatever the models it gets used. Software testers and uh, software testers, you no need to learn some tools like how you were testing like in the Selenium or whatever it is, because it's purely out of that uh, software, pure software topic. It's like an embedded software topic. So you have to be clear like something ISTQB uh, software functional uh, foundation level and then you, after that, you that's a minimum, and after that, you can, uh, if you can still want, you can clarify some exams like uh, software tester. They will take care of, they will flash the software in the ECU and try to test this, and then system tester. System tester is most likely to the software system tester, and in this system tester role is, they will test this ECU all the time, and they won't see any code or any functions or whatever it is. It's like a completely black box testing. And they will connect an ECU to the some simulator and uh, pro providing all the simulation signals and how the ECU is behaving. They will look like that. They will always evaluate that. And then test architect, test architect like um, SET I told in the system architect, test architect also it's completely right side of the V model and he will take care of the test system tool chains and uh, what are the tools you are going to use, what are the testing is needed sometimes uh, model based testing or uh, test tool based setting, testing or Exactly, he will take care of all the latest stuff. This is our respect to the software and then with respect to the hardware or testing and still some other parts all the organization should have is like quality. It's quality is something like, it's not like uh, in a production, production unit we have a quality engineer, they will check the quality of the produ produced pieces of mechanical items and they will check. It's not that one, it's like something like that. It's not something, uh, it's purely, and the other thing is that quality means you have to take care of all the quality of the software development, hardware development, and system development, because uh, before it comes to the vehicle, it has to coming, uh, it has to be approved all over the way. The quality of the development was good, and the quality of the design was good, and the quality of the testing was good. In Google now, you can see like uh, ISO 26262 uh, assessor is like a uh, functional safety standard. This is a major automotives are now concentrating all over the world, and A space, A space like related to that. Process wise, how it was been, uh, I mean, how the requirement was introduced, the requirement, how it was developed, how the requirement was tested, how the requirement was delivered to the customer with respect to the complete process. We need to tracking. These are all about uh, software and hardware, and still we have this uh, mechanical. Mechanical is a huge uh, department uh, because even though ECU is taken care of all the functionalities and uh, the mechanical unit is much needed. With respect to it back to to explain, so here all the components here we are using is you can say it's a outer thyroid or inner arm, it's a rack, and this is as a pinion. You can see the steering gear. So these are all purely mechanical based. Then this mechanical is it's just not like we can uh, connecting some rods and we can use because steering should have some um, complicated mechanical gears and some amount of rotation, how much amount of. Uh, linear movement over there. So mechanical designing unit also very big unit and mechanical designer roles also very much needed for the organizations. 
with respect to moving to the india uh, many people are aware, aware what are all the companies they are uh, doing in the r and d over in the abroad like germany japan and the us they should have the mineral companies over in uh, india because you know india is one of the prime power unit in now all over the world in india mostly it's like an uh, software developer roles because we are very good in the software development as also a some amount of uh, hardware developer also but complete mechanical designs and other related stuff uh, not over in india and it's over in the abroad especially in germany and uh, japan because germans always good for the mechanical and tester roles you know many people are using the testing and the testing tools with respect to this space or ni or some other tools also they are supporting much in this and in india you can see software hardware and testing side as a major uh, roles available right now with organizations the organization which i mentioned all are there in the previous and some extent some third party also supporting uh, like uh, apit but they are service providers they will come and develop some amount of software if needed as i said in the roles you can see mostly senior people who are much experienced over in the even the software development or in the hardware development will be over in the abroad because they are the first uh, what i could say the technology is uh, first to it's evolving they will be part of that they say they will have much amount of experience over there manager role still available over in india because uh, wherever the team is there there should be some managers some should be uh, some contact persons and other related stuff so this role is available both in india in um, germany or wherever the team is over there there is no worry about this management roles but to achieve this management roles what it much needed so you have some amount of experience in the respective field and some amount of experience in the managing peoples and some amount of experience this managing peoples you will get by by default if you are in the organizations and its communication skills what you should say to the customer what you should not say to the customer how you can calculate the risk uh, suppose if the delivery is failed how you will mitigate that and how the risk has to be informed to the customers and all related things it's, it's more related to the soft skills uh, soft skills will develop slowly and maybe once you are onboarded to the organizations and the organizations will provide all the related staff and the organizations should listen which part you want to go you want to go to management role or technical role and if you choose management and they will provide all the trainings and other related aspect of the role so how to enter this domains so if you want to enter this domain you should be enter to the any of the automotive so automotive companies so if you want to enter to the any of the automotive companies you have to be good in some aspect of the engineering so you should be finished uh, the following degrees with the higher uh, higher uh, gdp or gpa something right now or maybe with some amount of tools experience some amount of interest and uh, the interest is all over some amount of interest so you should be part of this following things electrical communications mechanical instrumentations and automobile engineering i will tell why these many things the triple e engineers still can uh, access hardware designing and uh, some aspect to the software development also communication engineers also they can able to go with software development and but and uh, hardware designing mechanical as i said in the previous you should be considered on the mechanical design i mean the steering gear steering rod and the, with respect to the designing of the mechanical unit over this component instrumentation engineers is something like same like uh, they can also concentrate on the uh, component uh, electronic circuit design and related stuff automobile you know the automobile is not, the product is going to automobile so if you are automobile engineering you can concentrate on the system so you can come as like a system engineer and system system architect or whatever it is because automobile uh, engineers much aware of the other unit of the automotive and how it has to work especially aerodynamics and related stuff so to enter to this is in the software side because uh, much roles are available in india with software related stuff so we have to be very good in the c programming development and uh, some extent to the matlab because nowadays all the development activities are moving from uh, hard coding to the matlab because of the reusability because of the tracking related stuff and as evolving tool python this python is one of the backbone for all the aspect with respect to the development testing or maintaining whatever it is in automotive uh, eps we are using this python for the testing activities 
And if you are going to do this mechanical side, as a mechanical engineering you are doing, and you want to enter to this field, is uh, you should be very much in knowledge about the mechanical designing tools like in market now with CAD or whatever stuffs, then you can enter to the designing engineers. So uh, that's all from my presentation right now about this uh, product and about this uh, opportunities about these things. And one key point I would like to tell there is, I want to finish this is, uh, as I said, uh, Sorry, I am not involved with that slide right now. So the thing is, the automotive market between 2022 2025, it's uh, planned to increase this uh, product development from 10% uh, from right now because all the cars should need the steering. So no matter what, which OEM is developing and which uh, customer is buying, they should need this component. So basically I can see in diesel systems are going to reduce because they are going to work for electric vehicles right now and whatever the respect to that the electronic power steering is another area even if it's electric or diesel or hydrogen or fuel cell or whatever it is we need steering so the steering is a constant market and it will be quite increase it will increase much in coming to the autonomous driving so basically i can see all the bachelors they can uh, with like with, with respect to working to this electronics or with respect to this uh, automotive they can choose this field and they can be successful for the next 10 to 15 years